You guys have been asking for the longest time for me to post a cologne video here on the YouTube channel. And I'm proud to say that today is finally the day. What's up you guys, welcome back to HB Fashion. If you're new here, my name is Zach Bobbs. In today's video, we're going over the colognes that are gonna be in my rotation during the spring season. Instead of giving you guys a generic list of some of the colognes that pretty much everyone's gonna be wearing during the season, I'm gonna be giving you a list of the colognes that I personally wear and I would 100% recommend that you do add it to your everyday collection. And before we get started, really quick, if you're not following me here on the channel, but you're into men's fashion, men's grooming, lifestyle advice, hairstyle advice, relationship advice, any advice at all that can help you become a better version of yourself, be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the HB community. We're growing every single day. And if you're a returning member, go ahead and like that video. You already know what to do. It helps the video out a lot. The first cologne I'm gonna be showing you today is gonna to be YEDP Intense by YSL. This is the new version of the original formula that they came out with this year. But I'm telling you right now, this smells amazing. With notes like juniper berries, lavender, cedarwood, it's a very aromatic and woody cologne. In my opinion, it's the perfect everyday cologne. I've been wearing this for the last few days now, ever since I got it, and I've been getting compliments left and right. And if you're just starting out with building a cologne collection, this is a great place to start. In my opinion, it's a better place to start than Dior Sauvage because everyone and their older brother has Dior Sauvage. So if you want to stand out from the crowd just a little bit, just have a little bit of edge above everyone else, start with this. The second one I wanna show you is gonna be Polo Red by Ralph Lauren. This is kind of similar to YSL in a lot of properties in terms of it being a very good everyday cologne and a good starter cologne if you don't know where to start with, but it's much sweeter, but has a little bit more of a robust vibe to it. And when I say it's sweet, it's very sweet. It has notes like lemon, red saffron, vanilla. And again, it's backed up by that woodsy smell. So it gives off a more masculine vibe. Again, I said this before, it's a good starter cologne, a good everyday cologne. I actually think this is Wifey's favorite. So um, she's gonna be home soon, so. And if you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you've seen this next one at least a few times already, but that is Mondays by Confessions of a Rebel. The name alone should make you want to go out and buy this, but in my opinion, it is a hidden gem and Confessions is a brand that I think is very underrated and people should definitely go and try out. This is something you're going to want to wear at more fun and casual settings. When you spray this, you're going to be hit with, yeah, a very citrusy vibe. You're going to be hit with lemon, bergamot, orange is very citrusy, but the sandalwood in it helped kind of bring it back to a more masculine tone. But I'm telling you, this is a very, very great cologne. I'm spraying it right now and it smells so damn good. Wifey, again, she loves this one, but we're already wearing another one. We don't want to stack colognes like that. <laughs> and just so we're clear, all the colognes I'm gonna be showing you today are linked in the description down below for you guys to go check out. Now this next one, this one's not to be played with. And shout out to Ralph Lauren for making the list twice in today's video. But this one is Ralph's Club by Ralph Lauren. I consider this to be bottled up power moves, if that makes sense at all. It is a very fresh, Oh yeah, it's a very fresh scent, but it's very masculine at the same time. It has notes of lavender, clary sage, but then it's backed up by cedar wood. So again, it brings in that masculine tone all back together. Anytime I'm wearing this, I'm gonna be wearing a suit or any formal outfit and I'm going dressed to the nine. So if there's something that you're gonna be wearing, wear it to your more formal occasions and watch the compliments just fly in. And last but certainly not least, especially with this price point, like a bottle of this is like three to four hundred dollars depending on where you get it. But that's going to be Viking made by Creed. I almost don't want to spray this, but I'm telling you, this is one of the ones that are going to throw you through a loop. But in my opinion, it is my favorite one out of the entire bunch that I just showed you. When I say this is a very citrusy cologne, this is a very, very citrusy cologne. Like my God, you're gonna smell the hell out of the mandarin orange in this. It also has strong notes of lemon in it too. So it's going to be a very strong and citrusy scent. But at the same time, it hits you with that pink pepper, that bergamot, that sage. So at the same time, it gives you off like a very, 
fresh and spicy sort of aesthetic which makes it all the more stronger which i'm telling you it smells amazing but it's gonna hit you like a truck the only complaint that i would have with this cologne other than the price point is the fact that it doesn't last as long as the other ones that i've showed you like the confessions one it that one lasts a little bit longer than this which in my opinion is a bit of a problem considering that it's creed but I'm not an expert in this, so I can't really tell you as to why it does, but I'm telling you, it's my, it's still my favorite. If I'm gonna be wearing this, it's gonna be at a rare occasion where I need a grade A day. Like if I'm wearing this, I'm expecting the day to go at nothing below of a 90% efficiency. I'm getting stuff done. I'm, I need my confidence through the roof. So I need to make sure that I preserve this as much as I can. I've had this for at least a couple of years now and I've gotten down to a pretty sizable level and already this is scaring me because I know I might need a refill soon. So I might need to look in to some more affordable alternatives to get this bottle refilled but we'll see we'll see but now i want to hear from you guys what is your favorite cologne that you like to wear during the spring season did you see me mention it here in this video with my rotations or is it something that i left out and you want me to try out for myself and i could possibly include that in a part two who knows but let me know in the comment sessions down below i'll be in discussion with you guys after i drop this video but if you like today's video you learned something from it be sure to hit that like button it helps the video out a lot helps spread it out to as many people as possible so they could possibly join the HB community. Speaking of which, if you're not following me here on YouTube, you're into Miss Fashion, Miss Grooming, lifestyle advice, hairstyle advice, relationship advice, any advice at all that can help you become a better version of yourself, be sure to hit, hit that subscribe button, become a part of the HB community. We're growing every single day and I'm loving it. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. If you're not following me on Instagram or on TikTok, they're both at Mr. HP Fashion. I'll have them both linked in the description down below for you guys to go check out. I post like almost every single day giving you guys different style inspirations with different outfits. So I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it. Just go check them out. Also, all the colognes that I listed in today's video will be in the description down below for you guys to go check out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I'll see you next time.